As I've mentioned before, we're always pushing the limits on white gold. In fact, a few years ago, we patented a white gold that was based on manganese instead of nickel and instead of palladium. Now, the advantage there is, of, as I've mentioned before, manganese is not expensive like palladium is. It's readily available. What we found out some years ago was that the casting machines that were out there at the time weren't really up to the atmosphere control that manganese really wants when it's molten. So today we're testing it as a casting in this machine. Now in this machine we can pump the air out and flood with argon and that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to find out how well this gold can work in a controlled atmosphere as a lost wax casting. A couple of months ago we were out here to test it uh, also. On that day we had a little oven trouble and didn't cast. What we did was we poured bars and rolled them out and found out exactly how flexible the metal is and what the color looks like. Well today it's casting time. We're not going to pre-alloy it. You can maybe see here that there's the gold and the alloy here in this vial. They will actually mix in the crucible and then be cast directly to shape. So that's a little different than the usual procedure. Um, but hey, it's testing day. Let's find out together. Thank you very much for coming to join me today. All right, it's time to cast. We have set up a number of flasks with a ring and a plug. That's what we're going to test our gold with today. We're going to cast the 0014 first, and then we're going to cast alabaster. So our very first flask, manganese white. Let's go. Load the metal. Set this little guy. That's all set. That's all set. And now it's a hustle. A hustle to go get the flask. Okay, so I'm going to set for 950 here. I want to see what it looks like at about 950 centigrade. I just waited for the sound of a little valve. It told me when the argon had counter flooded after we had vacuumed out the air. Start to see the first little signs of color. Yeah, I definitely see a red crucible. Metal temperature hasn't changed yet, but I can definitely see the electricity heating up the uh, graphite crucible in there. A little brighter and a little brighter. See a little melting around the edges. Definitely melting from the outside in. There we go. Now it's starting to take off. Now we can see here the pyrometer starting to see it. And what the machine should start to do is cycle on and off at about 950. We've got a little bit of fume in there. Not too bad. Hear the relay kicking in and out. I think we need a little more heat. Gonna go to a thousand. I'd rather run a little hot than a little cold on this first shot. When I hear the relay, I know I'm there. There it is. Okay, we're there. Three, two, one. Away she goes. Cross her fingers. Cross her fingers. You get a good long spin. Now I can turn off the noise. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Let's go for the reveal here. see a crucible that's empty. That's a very good sign. I see a button. I know we got metal cast in there. 
what I'm waiting for is to see when the color's gone. And I think I still see a little color in there. I'm gonna just tap this a little bit lightly, get the plaster off so I can see it. Almost gone. Almost gone. Find it, find it, find it. There it is, still a little warm in my hands. Our casting. Okay. Well, it filled. And it's got a yellow oxidi oxidized looking color on it. But later, we'll see how it looks underneath the oxide layer. Here was the big test today. This is the one we really wondered about. What would manganese white do in these kinds of conditions, just like this kind of a machine? Well, the first thing I saw was this horrible yellow oxide. I wasn't happy about that at all. But not to worry, got over to the belt grinder, the wet belt grinder, and got down to that nice white surface underneath. That's probably a medium white. That's probably a color one would certainly still want a rhodium plate. But if someone's allergic to nickel and you don't want to go with palladium, I think this is going to be a good metal.